What's up folks? This is Dave Mate from Circle of Drink. And here we are, just another video. Drinking some uh, Mission. Mission Sherba Mate de Argentina. And we're just gonna keep on going. Mate life. Share information on Mate. Build community. Uh, get feedback from one another. Enlighten one another. Drink Mate. Come closer. Promote togetherness. Salute. This is Dave Mate. Circle of Drink. Does Mate really, really create community something that I've uh, been pondering I think it does but what is community I think that we have this sort of general idea of what community is uh, in our minds but in our hearts I think that we feel community and observe community a little differently now the general idea of community is, okay, uh, physical location. I live in a community. Uh, I live amongst my friends or family, people that I know, my college roommates, my fellow students. This is community. This is a sort of vague, sterile definition of community, but I think that most people would associate community uh, within those parameters. But, on the other hand, in our hearts, what is community? What do we really desire? What do human beings really want? Uh, I think that we want a sense of affiliation. A sense of acknowledgement for the things that we do, or our ideas, our philosophies, our actions, our jobs. I think that's what really and truly community is. Community is a sort of a uh, living organism in which you are able to, without any ulterior motives, relate to other people in a way where your actions aren't dictated by money or by social s status or by gender, race, sex, what have you. I think, I think that's what really community is. The great thing about Mate is that the very premise of Mate, and really there is no premise but to speak in sort of a, in an, an analysis, uh, you introduce this vessel to somebody, you explain them, explain to them what it is, and then you sit down with them and you begin to talk about what Mate is, you begin to share Mate, and then one thing leads to another, and before you know it, you're talking about your life, you're talking about your aspirations, your jobs, your passions. So I think that Mate has proven to build that sense of affiliation, to build that sense of community uh, with people. Sociologist Ray Oldenburg talks about uh, three places in everyone's life. The first place is uh, just your everyday life, who you are, your house, where you live. Your living situation. That's the first place in your life. The second place is your job. Where you wake up and you go and you work. You gotta make money. You gotta feed the kids. You gotta make that money. Pay the bills. You know, you got car payments to pay. And then you need a place just to release and just to relax. What is that place? That place Ray Oldenburg calls the third place. Uh, this third place is a place where you go and there are no... Uh, sort of ulterior motives, like I said before. There are no set-in-stone plans. It, it's a place where you go and you're able just to relax, to be who you truly are, and to interface with people that you just want to be around for no other reason than that. That's the third place. Uh, I think that Mate has the potential to create such a third place where you're able to just be around people, just for the sake of being around them, just to enjoy their company. But when I think about where I live, and I sort of 
juxtapose that to the places I've been, most notably in South America, Argentina, Uruguay, some places in Europe, uh, actually only one place in Europe, I've been to Italy a few times, I'm able to see that America, generally speaking, lacks a sense of community. Now, this has a lot to do with my, you know, opinion, and I'm not a sociologist, just my everyday life opinion, experience. Uh, I think it has a lot to do with America being so diversified. You know, we have the melting pot of the world here. We have people from all over the world, second generation, first generation, newly uh, uh, immigrated people in America. We have everyone you could imagine. All races, creeds, nationalities are here. So we inherently, almost inherently, lack a sense of connection, of togetherness here, simply because we're all in our own little cliques. And within those cliques, there's more cliques. Within those cliques, there's sub-cliques. And then there's the governing body, which is called money, that governs all that situation. I found that Countries that have less money than we do, generally, uh, have a higher sense of community. In Argentina, the sense of community was extremely strong. From the first day that I was there in Buenos Aires, I was already uh, admitted into communities. Within the first week or two, I was already being invited into people's homes. Uh, that doesn't happen in New York. That doesn't happen in California. Not really. Maybe Northern California, Pacific Northwest, those sort of areas, that might happen. But where I'm from, New York, that's extremely rare. And I would say for most of the United States of America, that's rare. Except we have these little pockets uh, of communities where it's very strong in the United States. But, you know, pants only have four pockets. So... I think that our nation, and I'm speaking about the United States of America, lacks the sense of community. Why? To really distill the whole subject, I would say, and to oversimplify the whole thing, I would say money. Money is the barrier to community in the United States of America. Because what we have in money, in military power, and you know, economic power, and you know, might, and bruteness, and strength, and intelligence, and creativity, and brilliance, we have all those things too, obviously. We lack in a sense of togetherness, because when money is so prevalent in any nation, especially the United States of America, uh, it immediately creates barriers. Now, you may, you may be at your house, and it's the weekend, and you say, well, hmm, I don't want to go spend sixty dollars tonight at the bar uh, I just kinda wanna be around powerful people that I love and that love me and that you know I could actually use my intelligence with or learn something from or just be around but I don't have money I don't want maybe I don't have money or maybe I don't wanna go spend the money but there's, an, there's a conflict now because you say well that's the only way I'm able to hang out with my friends my so-called friends, if I go and spend money, if I use this uh, vehicle of money that governs this whole social situation. So, then you may say, I'm going to go, fine, I'm going to go to the club or the bar, but when I'm there, money is still such a major component. It's, it's, the, it's the elephant in the room. It's, okay, well, let me buy everybody drinks, or let me, uh, you know, impress this person, or let me uh, try to get a job from that person or what have you, climb the corporate ladder. So, would you really call that community? I couldn't call that community. I really couldn't call that community. It's something that has been manufactured. Manufactured by money. And manufactured by pressure, uh, financial pressure. Manufactured by uh, feeling that sense of having to impress and ingratiate yourself in the eyes of other people, of the eyes of other so-called friends. This is not community. This is just going out, partying, getting wasted. I don't have anything against those things. I'm just 
creating a picture here for us to see and to observe and to analyze. I take part in those things, but I dare not call them community. I dare not call them community. Uh, if I'm totally honest with myself, it would be great to have more of a sense of community, especially here in the United States of America, uh, for myself, at least. I'm only speaking for myself. I can't speak for anybody else, but I, I feel that other people can relate to this. Now, in South America, like I said, I was immediately in very powerful communities. I would say some of the most, or the most powerful communities I've ever been in. And when I use this word power, I'm using it in a sense of, you know, people showing love without any other motives. People embracing you without any other motives. People just wanting to be around you without any other motives. And when I compare that to my situation or my life here in the United States, I, I'm able to more clearly see that people have more of a, a of a predisposition to have a motive to be around you. What's the motive to, to be around you? Can I get something off of you? Can I tax your mind for some information today? Can I suck the blood out of you for something today? Especially here in New York, we have this mentality. This mentality has been ingratiated in our minds, uh, you know, from a very young age. We've seen our parents do it, so we in turn do it, and their parents have done it. So it's hard to get out of this cycle. And I'm not trying to set up a situation, an oppositional situation, where you say, where I'm saying, okay, you must defeat that side of you and, and evolve. That's not what I'm saying here. I'm just trying to make an observation. An observation of, I think that we lack community in the United States of America. And when I overlay that with my experience in South America, and my experience in, in a little bit in Europe, and I also mix that in with my experience with Mate, I'm able to see now, more clearly than ever, that Mate has the ability to bring people together. You know, even here in the United States, in New York, I would say one of the roughest and toughest places in the United States of America, New York City... You know, this state is no joke. This is a serious state in the United States of America. Perhaps the most serious state. And with that seriousness comes a sort of serious breed of people that, you know, New Yorkers know this. We are a different sort of people here in this particular state. We're very in your face. We're very, you know, aggressive. We're very, you know, uh, we don't hold our tongues too much. But New Yorkers pretty much understand that. That's our situation here. But I've seen Mati dissolve that sort of uh, roughness. I've seen Mati dissolve barriers of, of, of uh, economics, especially here in New York where economics is a very, you know, oh, you know, I got this money, so let me go buy the Mercedes and let me go buy, you know, the clothes from Fifth Avenue. You know, that's a very sort of, common situation in New York. Uh, I'm not saying I'm not a part of that. I'm just saying that's what is going on. I've seen Mati dissolve that. So, I guess my question to you is, what do you really think community is? What is community to you? And I'm sure you have your own definition of community. And, you know, do you, like myself, like I do, do you sort of desire a greater sense of community, because I desire a greater sense of community, especially here in New York and the United States uh, in general. I desire a greater sense. And in many ways, my life here in New York uh, has been devoted to trying to build a greater sense of community throughout my country, which I love very much. Uh, had I not had such a desire to build a community, in my home, in my area, I would probably, in all likelihood, be back in South America because they have a different mentality there. They have a different mentality of letting uh, community flow freely, which I love. I crave that. You know, I love you guys over there who showed me that situation that I never experienced before uh, there in Buenos Aires, there in Argentina, there in Uruguay. And yes, I experienced it slightly in Northern California, where I lived in the, you know, very small towns in Northern California. So this is just some food for thought, guys. I'm just presenting this information to you, my life, my thoughts, my feelings. 
my situation with Mate. I hope that uh, you could kind of use this video as a soundboard to see where your life is at, to see if Mate has, uh, in fact, like it has mine, my life uh, changed you in some way or built community within you and your uh, life. So let me know. This is Dave Mate, Circle of Drink. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. I appreciate you guys. I hope to see you in the next online circle. Salud. Peace.